Hi everyone, welcome back to Love and Dare. Today I wanted to share five books to read this summer. So I know a lot of you have more time in the summer. It's a perfect time to get more reading done. And these are like five different books that will give you something different. So depending on what you're looking for, hopefully one of these books will be good for you. So my first recommendation is You Are a Badass at Making Money by Jen Sincero. This book is for you if you want to cultivate a more positive relationship with money. So if you notice yourself having like negative thoughts about money, if you ever heard yourself think that, oh, money is evil or money is greed or any other negative like thoughts around money, then maybe this is a book to pick up because this book will help you cultivate that positive mindset around money, help you realize that money is just a tool. Money is just a resource. It doesn't really have a positive or negative connotation to it but it will also like motivate you to make more money in your life. It will just like help you hone in on the gratitude that you have around money. It will also help you shift your mindset so that you can attract more abundance into your life. I'd recommend this book to any artists or creative types who struggle with the idea of pursuing money because I know that a lot of people, like you know, they wanna pursue art or you wanna pursue meaning or you wanna help others and you think that money and art and meaning are are exclusive but actually it can all be inclusive it could all be this one and the same it really is about shifting your mindset and recognizing money for what it really is just a tool to help you live your dream life the next book is one that I highly, highly recommend. It's good for those of you who don't want to read necessarily because it's an audiobook. All you have to do is kick back and listen, and it's just a bunch of stories. So the book is called Born a Crime by Trevor Noah. I've already like raved about this book. If you don't know who Trevor Noah is, he's a comedian, he's the host of The Daily Show, and he's from South Africa. He grew up in a very interesting time during apartheid where he was basically like illegal because he's mixed race so he wasn't supposed to exist and he has all these interesting stories of him growing up as a child in South Africa. First of all, I love his voice. Second of all, he's like super funny. Third, he's like really great at telling stories. Like you're really captivated into his stories and he really takes you to another place. Plus, he also speaks like so many different languages in this audiobook that it's just like it's just a really good way to expand your mind, to recognize all the different cultures out there, and just really appreciate just the story of a human being growing up. I just thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyed this book. It will make you laugh, it will make you cry, it will make you think, it will get you inspired. So if you're looking to dive into a memoir, then I highly, highly recommend Born a Crime by Trevor Noah. You'll love it. So I'll include like a free audible trial so you can listen to it for free actually. The next book that I highly recommend is called The Slight Edge by Jeff Olson. This is a book for everyone. Literally anyone and everyone should read this book. So if you've ever tried to achieve a goal or if you've ever tried to improve your craft or hone in on your skills, but you felt like you got stuck and then you had to start all over again and then you got stuck and start all over again, this book is for you because it really teaches you how and why to put in the little effort of work every day. This book is like the book of consistency. It's all about teaching you how to be consistent, why you should be consistent, how it can literally transform your life. And I'm telling you right now, The Slight Edge transformed my life because it just blows your mind on how putting in a little bit of work every day can really take you far. So if you've been looking to you know, improve your productivity or just be better at chasing your goals and chasing your dreams, then definitely pick up The Slight Edge by Jeff Olson. Read it and you will not regret it, trust me. The next book that I recommend is called The Artist's Way by Julia Cameron. So this is a book that I'm currently going through right now. What it is, is it's a 12 week process, a 12 week journey to help you unblock your creative channel. So help you like tap into your creativity. So if you're an artist or you're a creative and you feel like you have a project you wanna complete but you're stuck or you just feel like you haven't been inspired lately, definitely pick up this book, The Artist's Way. So it's a 12 week program. So summer is like the best time to go through with this program because that's like three months basically. So each week 
Um, the book takes you through different tasks and challenges and it will like cover like a different section each week. So I know this book is like a classic for creatives. It was written in the 90s and it's still very relevant today. If you've ever heard of Morning Pages, I talk about that a lot on my channel. That comes from this book, The Artist's Way by Julia Cameron. So if you're a creative, you want to tap into your creativity, you want to get more inspired, definitely, definitely consider picking up this book. The last book I want to recommend is called A New Earth by Eckhart Tolle. So Eckhart Tolle is an amazing author. He is like so wise. He's almost like a monk. Like he just has all the answers. <laughs> anyway, his most popular book is called The Power of Now. It's huge. If you haven't read it, I definitely recommend you to read that too. But A New Earth is his newer book. It was recommended by Oprah. It's basically a book that teaches you how to distinguish what is the ego part of you and what is the true part of you. This book does go pretty deep. It's very in-depth and you might not understand it at first read, I feel like it's one that I had to take my time to read like slowly and then reread the pages again because it's like some really deep spiritual stuff. So it's all about learning how to recognize which part of you is your consciousness, your awareness, or your soul, your spirit, whatever you want to refer to it, versus which part of you is your ego. So you have like an ego part of you, the part that like succumbs to addiction, the part that is like negative self-talk, and all this stuff that is essentially an illusion. Everything that is your ego is an illusion. It's not real. So it's just... It teaches you what part is your ego, how to separate that from your core and your soul, who you really are. It's definitely a book that will help you dive deep, rediscover yourself, and kind of reframe your perception of the world. I really think this will open up your eyes, it will open up your mind, it might probably change your life. So yeah, if you've been feeling kind of blah and living on the surface, you kind of want to dig deeper within and explore some new concepts and like I said, reframe your perception of the world, then definitely check out A New Earth by Eckhart Tolle. Plus, feel free to like dive deep into all of his other works because he is something else. He is truly amazing. All right, I hope you like these five books to read this summer. Let me know below if you have other suggestions on books that I should read this summer because I'm always dying to add more books to my reading list. All right, have a beautiful day. Have a beautiful summer. Keep me updated. If you read these books, let me know. Comment below on what you think. Love you all. See you next time. Bye.